everybody welcome back to another video guys uh as y'all can see behind me we have the giveaway truck this is edgar's truck i just got off the phone with him and we're supposed to take it to the paint and body shop to desi wild but desi wild doesn't have space for it quite yet he just told me let's do it next week so i was like man the truck's here let's do something to it right so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna take the engine driven compressor off we're gonna take this tank off we're going to do a new tank. We're going to do a Vire 444 compressors. We're going to do a Slash Specialties kit with the controller. Uh, basically, we're just going to get rid of all the old stuff that it had. Uh, we're upgrading them. So, Edgar, I know we made you wait. But as everybody knows that has ever dealt with me, when we make you wait, at the end of the day, we go overboard and we try to do extra stuff. So, we took the bed off because we wanted to make it a lot easier for Carlos to get all the inside and everything. The whole truck will be disassembled already for him, which is why we took everything off. As y'all know, the truck is running a KP Component 6 link uh, with right tech shocks all the way around. And what we're gonna do right now, basically we're gonna switch the bags, all new fittings, lines, compressors, wiring, pack 80, pressure switch, the whole nine yards. And what we're gonna attempt to do is that I'm attempt to do it today. So I doubt it is gonna happen 100%, but at least we'll have the compressors mounted, we'll have the tank mounted, uh the slant specialty kit wired up and probably the compressors wired up and the rest of it is just going to be little lines going to the front bags and the rear bags uh little stuff like that so let's start cutting everything up guys because like i said this truck needs to get to paint already uh, typical monitor like i said guys this truck needs to get to paint already we're about to pull everything off of this truck i literally just started cutting all this wiring off check it out look Started cutting all the wiring off. We're literally gonna cut everything off. As you can tell, we're not gonna need none of this shit no more. All this is going bye-bye. Uh, for its time, it was awesome. You know, it was good, but it's outdated and we're gonna upgrade everything to it now. So as of right now, we're just gonna clean it all up, paint everything on the frame for right now. We're gonna get it to paint. And then when we get it back, we will send the KP component six link and control arms and spindles off to powder coat to match the interior of the truck. Let's start cleaning everything up guys. Uh, follow us on this process uh, to get it done. We're gonna try to get it done as quick as possible. My boy said right now is gonna go pick up all the parts we need for it. Oh, you know what? Check out what we have. Guys, don't pay attention to the back, the background. We are trying to clean up the shop as much as we can. If y'all remember on the last video, we had a pile right here of metal. So little by little, we're getting rid of it. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Uh, as of right now, we got a OEM hood and an OEM grill with the billet bow tie, uh, courtesy of my boy, Mike. Uh, I'll put his Instagram right here for y'all that want to go follow him. He's the guy that has a single cab step side on 28s. We calling it what, half and half or 50-50? I forgot what we, yeah, it was half and half, I think. And the reason it's called half and half is because half of it is bagged and half of it is static drop on coilovers. Uh, but huge shout out to him, man. He hooked us up with the hood and a grill OEM for that truck. Uh, the next parts that we got right here, we got these from Trust Auto Parts. So we needed bumper brackets for the step side bumper. We needed the tail light harnesses and the actual tail lights. You may be asking me why we went with these old OEM tail lights. And the reason being is because Carlos said, hey man, find me some OEM ones. I'm gonna polish them, get them all cleaned up, clear them and everything. They're gonna look like brand new and they're OEM. So we got OEM tail lights, OEM tail light harnesses, grill, OEM hood, OEM brackets. Uh, over here we got bags. We got actually all four bags. Uh, I don't know where we left the other two, but we got the bags for it. Uh, we got mirrors, OEM mirrors. We got an OEM step side bumper. What else do we have for this truck? The hood, the bumper, tail lights, bumper brackets, tail light harnesses, grill. Uh, we did the doghouse already, which that's gonna get bed liner. So it got a little surface rust on it because it's been raining. But uh, we got all new headlights, LED headlights, uh, LED park lamps. We got a new front bumper. Uh, what else? My boy Mondo right now is relocating the fuse box on that thing. The computer's already done. I'm gonna relocate the battery right now and the coolant reservoir. What else, what else? Along with all the other stuff. So as of right now, guys, follow us on this quick little journey because we're gonna try to do this quick, clean, simple, and reliable. So I know usually those don't mix together, but when you got a team like ours, uh, everybody helping and stuff like that. It usually works out pretty damn good. So Let's get this show on the road guys Let's go get these parts and bring everything back so that we can get this truck rolling so we can have it ready for paint next week Lunch time already
bye, Becky. Chill, my girl gonna be like, who the fuck is Becky? Que chica se llama Becky, wey. We could probably reuse that tank. I'm gonna check to see, you know, how it looks on the inside or whatever, but. My dad's been helping me cut all this shit off. Ya quito los tornillos. Si quieres dar una grinder con el disco de limpiar para agrandarle ese. Vamos a limpiar eso. Damn, just right off the back, it looks a hundred times better cutting that off, huh? Within like 10 minutes? Within like six minutes, probably. I think that was the best way to go, bro, honestly. We owed it to Edgar and the son to give them a good product, so. After it comes back, the only thing we're gonna have to do is send everything to powder coat, install it, y luego ya que se le llevan a Speedy, touch up the interior, and I'll be ready to go. The front wheels have been done. We got brand new tires. We got brand new tires for the back. We still need to send the back ones to get polished up, but I mean, as of right now, it is what it is with the time that we have. So let's go get some lunch, bro, because I'm hungry. Let me transita, father. All right, guys, so I just got bitched at by my dad. Again. Father! Does it have a No? 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 You should have recorded with him talking shit, <laughs> Teddy. All right, guys, so I had told y'all that we were taking everything off. My boy Mondo uh, took it upon himself. He's doing the fuse box relocation in the front. Right now, I'm doing the battery in the front. My pops is taking off everything that it had originally when we got the truck. We're taking everything off. Air tank, uh, Mondo's taking off the engine-driven compressor with the bracket, the pulleys, the belt. Everything's coming off. While we were doing that, the actual owner of the truck came over here, Edgar. So, Edgar's here. Edgar is not an Edgar. Let me tell you that right now. Because a lot of people have always said it's Edgar and Edgar. And no, Edgar's not an Edgar. He is an Edgar, right? He's, his name's Edgar. But he's not an Edgar. So, yeah, uh, guys, like I was telling you, we're fixing to go drop some money off for this truck. Like I told y'all, Slam Specialties uh, valve manifold. We're doing the controller, compressors, tank, fittings, all new bags. I didn't know we had already replaced the front bags with Firestone because that's what it originally had in the front. I was looking at them right now and I was like, man, they look pretty new. And I'm looking at them and they're no stress cracks, no nothing. And they still have the little hair nipples and everything. The hair nipples. <laughs> Como se llama? The little titties? The hair nipples? Me la mame. Guys, I don't know what it's called, but you know, the little things that stick out of the bags, uh, everything's still on there. But yeah, we had already touched all this up right here too. We had cleaned up some of the wiring. Uh, we got a new filter for it. We just put a new fr uh, fuel pressure regulator. And like I said, guys, we got our work cut out for us because I want to do this ASAP. If not by today, finish it by tomorrow and have everything ran, turned on to where we could turn on the truck, pick it up, drop it back down. Uh, we won't have to be hearing this loud ass uh, compressor noise or anything like that. One thing I did want to mention, guys, uh, and I was telling Edgar too, I said, man, we actually have a giveaway for you guys. We've been having a giveaway for you guys, but we never made it public. We never said anything about it out of respect for him because we still had the truck here. Now, the whole plan was for me to take the truck to the body shop and as soon as we dropped it off at the body shop and y'all saw Edgar picking up, I mean, not picking it up, but you know, with us dropping it off that we were actually doing it and everything, that's when we were gonna announce the giveaway. But we've been holding off, holding off, and then right now my painter just said, bring it by next week, which is why we decided to do this now because we didn't wanna get a freshly painted truck, blow it all apart and then put everything back together. Now, suspension-wise, we are gonna powder coat everything, but it's just a suspension. We're not taking bed off, we're not taking tailgates off or nothing like that. Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, I don't know if y'all remember Edgar. Edgar came out on one of the videos. My boy Edgar's right here. He's looking at the truck. Uh, yeah, I mean Edgar. So, I told y'all he wasn't an Edgar. It's all the Edgar cuz. But all those Edgar cuz, that's not an Edgar, okay? Can I say that one or no? Can I say Edgar one more time or no? Yeah, okay, Edgar. <laughs> It's just, you know, the, the feeling, you know, because everybody's like, oh, Eggers, Eggers, and then you finally meet an Egger and they're not Eggers. It's kind of like, oh, fuck. But, um, yeah, guys, it does have, the truck runs and drives, the AC turns on, everything. Let's go show them everything that we ripped out from the back already so far. And we already showed them everything, right? Over there? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, right now, ¿qué está haciendo ahorita, Father? Limpiando todo la barra? My dad's cleaning up this bar right here. Uh, I had a whole bunch of holes and everything. We're gonna leave this bar here. El ahorita lo que está haciendo, le está quitando esto, le va a quitar esto. Todas las little wells que tenía ahí, se lo va a quitar todo. 
y vamos a, a pintar todo aquí, ¿verdad? Vamos a pintar todo el frame. Uh, we're probably gonna cut these off, bring them down a little bit because we're gonna mount the tank a little closer over here and see if we can run the compressors right here. We're gonna run two Vire 444s. The slant specialty block is gonna be right here and then we'll run everything to the front. We already took off a whole bunch of stuff, as you can tell, wiring, all the old rats nests that it had. We're gonna replace it with A1 quality parts. A1 wiring, everything heat shrunk, everything uh, wire loom, test tape, whatever you wanna call it, we're doing all that. Uh, we're gonna do all new airlines to the front, new airbags in the back. Whenever it comes back, we will replace all the bushings, ball joints, because all this is going to powder coat, so I don't wanna put the bushings in there right now. Uh, other than that, we fixed the brakes. Uh, we got an ABS sensor for it. Uh, what else? What else? The exhaust is good on it. Uh, we did check the fluid on the div. The div, all, all that is good. Transmission fluid is good. The engine oil is like super clean. So that's why I know that there's nothing wrong. There's no metal shamings or nothing in it. Uh, just wanted to send a huge shout out to Edgar Man. Edgar's right here. Uh, he waited on us. He patiently waited on us. And my way of saying thank you is by basically going all out on this truck. So we're about to literally go spend what? I think it's like $1,300, $1,400. Yeah. yeah. We just caught order some parts. It's about 13, 1400 bucks uh, for all the parts that we're gonna put on it right now. And that's not including wiring, all the connectors, the you know fittings, all that stuff. We're about to put about 13, 1400 dollars in this truck as it sits. But it's gonna be a lot better, a lot more modern. Everything's gonna be updated, and uh, that way he don't have no problems. There's no leaks, no nothing like that. It's just gonna make it easier for us to work on it uh, whenever it gets back from paint. So. Uh, he shout out to Edgar. He shout out to Desi Wild. He shout out to Nord Jensen. He shout out to Trust Auto Parts. Uh, who else? Who else had a part in this? PI Clusters. PI Clusters uh, had a huge part on this. Mike. He shout out to my dad for always going with me to pick up parts. Sevi, Mondo. Uh, my wife, bro, because my wife was the one. And Alexis, my little girl, because they were the ones doing all the merch and all that stuff, too. So, guys, I'm going to just keep it at that. We're going to work on it right now. We'll continue to record here in a little bit. Uh, like I said, I just wanted y'all to meet Edgar. He is the winner of the truck. He already has a title. Uh, hey, Edgar. Yeah. Anything you want to tell the guys? No, uh, other than it. other than we suck for taking forever, but we're going all out on it now, so we're gonna try to make up for it. Nah, it's just a big shout out to my boy Roman man here at the setup, uh, and all the Edgar cuts. For real. <laughs> we said my uh, We're no. good, man. Yeah, like I said, I'm just happy. I'm happy we're here. We're finally getting it done. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we, oh. So we got front tires. One of the front wheels had a little bitty rash on them. My boy Gilbert took care of it. They're nice and polished, real nice and neat. They have front tires. Uh, the front tires are new too. The back tires are brand new. We do have them. Those are actually here. Uh, the only thing is that we don't have a set of wheels to send it to the paint and body shop because it has a certain offset. So if we put a stock wheel on there with those brakes, it's not gonna work. It has to be a 22 or bigger in the rear. So I don't have a set of 22s that I could just slap on there and take over there. We have customer wheels, but if I do that, then they're gonna beat my ass for doing that. So let's start cleaning everything up, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to try to meet him. Uh, he's been on the videos before, and like I said, we took a while. I can not keep repeating myself, but we took a while, and now we're gonna go that extra mile. It literally took us, what, 30 seconds to decide that we we're gonna do this, right? Mondo's like, man, if we didn't have this engine driven compressor right here, the fuse box would fit perfect right here. And then I came back here and I was like, 30 seconds in, I said, you know what? Fuck it, cut everything off, let's do it. I immediately called him and said, hey, you know what, bro? We can't take the truck till next week. Fuck it, we're going to go all out on it. So, excuse my language, guys. For all the little kids out there, I'll bleep it. Which, I say that all the time and I never do. And get I, ready for the next giveaway. Yeah, get ready for the next giveaway, guys. You know what? We'll show it to them at the end of the video. So, that one's, that one's not going to be a project. I learned a lot from this one. And I knew that it's a big task to get everyone involved that we we're doing everything with. You know, like getting stuff from over here, from over there, over here. Go do this, go do that in between what we had to do and everything. The next one's gonna be a simple build, a real nice build though, uh, running, driving and everything. And uh, it's gonna be pretty quick. It's gonna be a, a quick, quick giveaway. We're not gonna sit here and wait around for it or nothing like that. Whoever wins it, like I said, he shout out to Edgar for waiting on me, is not gonna sit around and wait for it like he did. It, I know it sucks that I'm saying that, but it's the honest to God truth. I like to admit it when I'm wrong. I was wrong by taking this long, but we're going all out. Y'all see here in a little bit all the stuff that we're getting for it. So uh, let's get back to it, guys. We're going to get to work. All right, guys. So check it out. My pops already got all this cleaned up. We're about to weld this right here. He just told me let's put the compressor right here. But we're going to go ahead and cut that crossbar that goes across. This one right here. We're going to cut that off. We're going to plate it. Put a two by two across. Mount the tank this way. And then the compressor's on this side. Yeah, so basically that's what, just what we're going to end up doing right now. Uh, I was showing... Edgar, what we got for his truck. 
Y'all check it out. We got the Slam Specialties controller. We got some brand new Vire 444 compressors. And we got the Slam Specialties valve block. So, a whole bunch of goodies for this truck. Oh, you know what? We got a we brand got new tank too. too. Yeah, yeah. We got some chichorones. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we also got a, and a 12 pack. We and got a 12, 12 pack, yeah, that got it too. So he hooked us up. Uh, we got a brand new tank right there too. So brand new five gallon tank that we're gonna put right here. Uh, we got all new fittings, bags. I didn't even know, but we had already switched out the front bags to two Firestones. I don't know why we ended up doing that, but the front did have Firestones and the back has slant specialties. The only reason I could think of is that Firestone has a softer ride. So a lot of people tend to use those in the front and then they'll use a stiffer bag in the back. Uh, they've been doing that for years. Why? I'm assuming that, but that's the only reason I could think of. But uh, yeah, it has brand new Firestones in the front and it does have brand new fittings, but we're gonna end up taking those fittings off and then replacing them because we are gonna run new lines to the front. Right now I'll make some, uh, some mounts right here so that we can mount the tank and the compressors. And then after that, I can start plumbing everything, wiring everything up. And that way this truck could go up and down on his own goodwill without having to worry about the engine driven compressor. So, Mr. Edgar, I appreciate you waiting on us, cuz. I appreciate that Any a lot. Time, man. Yeah, I appreciate that a lot for reals. Uh, but yeah, giveaway is actually gaining momentum. You know what I'm saying? Gaining. And you have the title. Oh, I've, yeah, yeah I've been you've having been having the, the title. title. I've been yeah. having the title. So, That's, yeah. So uh, I know some people had commented on there like, nah, put up L and this and that. He won the truck. He got the title a long time ago. Uh, if you don't believe me, I'll put the video down at the bottom. I ain't got to prove something to nobody. But for those non-believers, he does have the title. We gave it to him a long time ago. We signed it over. And then the truck's here, but we're getting it all done, get it nice and ready. And it's heading to the pink shop next week. So we finally got it confirmed when it's going. So after that, it's coming back. We're going to do powder coat on the KP component six link. Uh, touch up whatever little stuff we got to do in the front and then from there to Speedy's headliner to do the interior to touch it all up clean it all up steam it steam clean it and then Pretty much get some certain parts all wrapped up that we're gonna do inside like the dash the pillar where we're taking off all the gauges uh, the, Oh the little panels that go on the side of the console and then the center console has an old screen And he just gave me an idea that I was thinking an iPad, you know what I'm saying? But he was like man, we can also do it into a little storage bin or something so it should be pretty dope, guys. Uh, let's continue here. He's fixing to take off, so me voy a despedir de volada de él, and then uh, show you what we come up with here in a little bit. All right, guys, so you guys check it out. Last night, we ended up staying here till eh, about eight o'clock, and uh, I ended up doing the cross member, the tank mounts, and the compressor mounts uh, for the giveaway truck for Edgar. And uh, I already sent him a picture. He liked it, the way it looked and everything. As of right now, I still got to mount the uh, valve manifold, the controller, the pack 80 and all that good stuff. We got to wire them up. But we're a lot more ahead than we are behind. So hopefully I have this truck up in the air going up and down by itself by today. Uh, right now we got some exciting news. So let's go over there and check it out. Right before we do that, I'm going to show you the compressors. It's a simple setup, two by two square tubing plated on the side, compressor mounts off of that, and tank mount off of that. So we'll start doing all the plumbing, wiring, and everything. And by the end of the day, this truck should go up and down on its own. Really? So the plan is that we start knocking these trucks out, right? Yeah. Before you know it, me and you, we're going to be walking around with our pocket like that. Right? Full of tools, Full of when we were little bro, we used to go to the junkyard. I used to go grab fusibles from the junkyard. I felt so bad now, like I feel guilty. Nah, hell nah, but no mames como ni modo que le voy a hacer eso a Miguel o a Jose. Oh no, but I don't know. No, I'm talking about yeah, the other picking pools and shit like that. People do that all the time. Guys, so we have some exciting news. Two things. We have a new giveaway that we're gonna show you in this video. So you wanna stay tuned. That one's gonna be a lot better. Now, no, I'm not gonna say it's a lot better because the other one's getting a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna be a lot quicker. It's gonna be a lot quicker as soon as we do the giveaway. Uh, you give us two weeks, we'll put all the entries in. At the end of the two weeks, we pick out a name. If the winner is from five hours or less, we'll personally go deliver the truck. If the winner is from five hours or more away, Y'all ass better get your ass down here and pick up a free truck. You know what I'm saying? 
But uh, we do have a new giveaway, guys. I can't wait to show you what it is. I'm gonna be giving y'all little hints here and there. So y'all stay tuned, guys. Right now, we're gonna go get that truck to LC Performance. We are pulling out the 6 the tranny, uh, computer harness, the whole thing, because it's going in a black single cab. Could the black single cab be a giveaway? I don't know. We're also putting a Cam 5.3 in the black crew cab. Could that one be a giveaway? I don't know. We're doing an LS swap. I mean, not an LS swap. We're doing wheels and tires and a drop on the bourbon. Imagine if I do the bourbon a, a, a giveaway. Who knows? Only time will tell throughout this video. So you want to stay tuned on what we're giving away. But yeah, we're going to Luis at LC Performance. We're going to go there. They're going to pull everything out of that truck. The reason we're pulling everything out of that truck, why that truck is being a donor is because the reason we're pulling everything out of that truck, it's not a donor truck. It's not a trash truck or nothing. It's a real nice truck, actually. Um, it's because we need to get everything out of their fuel lines everything because we're gonna paint the whole frame do the whole rear suspension on coilovers and that truck is gonna go to jr fabs over at project torque to do a thompson 408 stroker with twin turbos everything titanium like they're going all out on that truck so my boys from new mexico say hey i need to leave the truck here i need you to pull everything out clean the frame build the motor put a 14 bolt rear end in it Whenever you're done with it, take it to the LC. So that's exactly what we're doing. That's how I'm getting the motor for the black single cab. And here in the next week or two, we should be 6.0 cam, uh, stall, headers, fast intake, fast throttle body, everything on the black single cab. Once I do that, I'm gonna have a nice little street truck, uh, probably do some wells or some billets or something. I know I want coilovers on it. I, I did want to bag it, but not no more. I want coilovers on a nice drop and that's it. Something quick, you know what I'm saying? So. Let's head on over to LC Performance because that truck is gonna get torn apart. All right guys, so we just pulled up. I don't even open that bitch, I don't even know what button it is. All right guys, we just pulled up to LC Performance. Vamos a ver qué está haciendo el chavo. Okay. Esta es la que vamos a utilizar todo para ponerla a la mía. ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo bien? Está bueno, pues listo. ¿Qué es? ¿Cómo andamos? Entonces mando uno de los trabajadores ahí, observando. Hola, ¿cómo está? Vamos a aprender de la Esta va a ser la donor. Ok, la que va. No, esta es un pedo de las que De volada. Está bueno. Fast LSX RT 102 millimeter intake. And big mouth. I think that's guaranteed to give me a little bit of air inside the intake. A little bit of it. I'm gonna come on. We're about to unload the truck, unload these goodies. Because the black truck is gonna come out looking fire from here. Sounding fire from here, not looking. Soundy.
Nunca lo había pisado. No, no, no. no. Hasta ahorita. Sí, es la primera vez. ¿Vas a jugar a los Arrows, ¿ah? Eh, pues sí. Sí, sí, sí. Cuando voy, ves, que se siente que pesca o de cada verga, el le rafle, ¿no? Yeah, yo no, le voy a poner, yo quiero el fast intake y el throttle party, pero quiero el de cable. El de cable, sí, yeah. el de cable. Yeah. Y luego iba a ordenar el Nick Williams, pero sí, me dijo Armando, ¿cuál es Mando? Mando creo que lo ordenaba, pero 700 y algo, 800 por el puro throttle party. Yeah. Hace mucho gusto, ¿eh? Like, yeah. Por el electric throttle party grandote. Pero bien mejor de cable. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, yo prefiero el de cable. No, pero yo no creo que tenga turbina porque, a cuenta, le puse el freno y puse el gas así, de volada, agarra. Ya, yeah, no, no, no se acelera poquito. Ah, pero ahorita que la... Pero si sí me gustaría ponerle una de perdido la turbina. Está bueno, pues empieza a engradar tronco para que los morro. ¿Qué, qué sería buena de la drive para hacerle, digo, de la turbina para ponerle a. Uh, ¿Qué aro quieres poner? Pues ya tiene. Pero ¿y no sabes qué aro le La verdad no sé. Hoy te lo checamos. Lo único que sé es que como el bar, man, está, está medio despacio, pero ya cuando se revoluciona para arriba, me sabes. Bueno. Una, una 3200 para que la puedas manejar para que le metas cambio y sientes que camine porque yeah. es muy alta le metes cambio y está parada y le tienes yeah. que dar gas para que camine yeah. y el otro día tengo que hacerle el diferencial yo a la otra pero la otra ya está lista y la puedo traer cuando quiera no tiene parrilla luces ni bumpers o si le tienen que quitar algo lo que sea que te salga yeah, comadre que te iba a decir a nomás me avisas tú cuando quieres que venga por esta ¿Por rato? Sí. <risa> no, hey, push este, comes to shove, hey, ya, 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 ya le dije a estos a mí, antes del lunch tiene que estar listo. Damn, this boy work quick, bro. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yo pensé que iba a wait like two, three hours, that way, I mean, you, you catching the whole process and yeah. it's, it's, it's done. No, 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 como un, el, el cook off okay. uh, que tienen ahí adentro que es una tent que van a ir por allá en el área. Yo no iba ahí, pero el camarada me estaba diciendo, vamos, vamos. Y, uh, okay. Pero resultó que un camarada no fue por los tickets. <risa> Ahora no sabemos si vamos <risa> a poder ir. Claro, ¿no? Sí. So, ya, yeah, lo, lo único que sí, man, como te digo, la turbina, sí me gustaría ponerle una. No, hay que ponerle. Could, ¿Should I do it now or just wait till later? I mean, it's already there. Yeah. Es que no, no, es, no es pedo para quitarla. No vas a separar algo. No, no, yeah. O sea, no, te va, no va a costar nada. Déjame dejarlo. Sí, Si no me más flash, güey. Ah, el arriba no tiene nada que ver porque pues, no tiene presión ese, pero para mucho. It's how you know you come to the right spot, you know what I'm saying? Where you do something by appointment, you get here at the time you're supposed to, and look, bam, that's dope. Big shout out to them. ¿Qué, qué, aquí más, a, explíqueme qué todo hacen aquí, qué haces tú? Principalmente nos dedicamos a hacer swaps, en trocas, mayormente camionetas. Sí. Mayormente camionetas lo que hacemos swap de 50, 60, 30. Todo hasta lo más nuevo. Ah, hasta lo más nuevo. Pero si alguien, por ejemplo, como aquí el camarada que dice, hey, tengo una 2011, quiero hacerle el cam y high rise gente, todo eso lo pueden hacer también. Todo lo hacemos también. Eso no es ningún problema. Pero tú, lo que mayormente nos, nos dedicamos es swap en swap. pocas viejas. Yeah. Y ya está el, el rey del swap. <risa> el como dicen. Oh, acá tengo el mío, el, el 30. Oh, este. Míralo. Sí, ahorita que entramos nos enamoramos de él. Y apenas le había dicho yo a él, y dije, güey, tuviera con madre este con un LS swap. Más un show o algo. Oh, este man. Mira, cuando no le dan de comer a él, sí, en un, unas 6, 7 horas. <risa> Ahí está, ¿no? <risa> uh, lo bueno que siempre hay para lunch, ¿eh? Lo bueno. No, ese sí. Una llave 10. Ahí está, Thank <laughs> you. 
Ahí Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Well, guys, we just dropped off the truck. Literally within what five minutes? Within five minutes, they were already taking off headers, exhaust. Uh, they had already disconnected the whole harness. I mean, the whole nine yards. Man, you just explained to me that that's his, and this has a per uh, this has a triangulated four link in the back on back, and then a mono leaf. Well, not a mono leaf, but a single leaf spring in the front. It's a Model A, and he said one of these days you're gonna see this car at your shop because I want to do the sheet metal and everything. I was like, shit, let's do it. Mondo fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. That, that bitch is bad. So we're gonna head over to North Jensen right now. Remember, guys, stay tuned because we got a giveaway coming up. Is it the orange truck? We just thought about that, huh? The giveaway truck. Is it the orange truck? There's too many options. Too many options, right? Could it be the diesel? You might have the diesel. She fresh paint job on those 26 by 14. That'll be dope. I guys, so we just made it to North Jensen because we do need some parts for a truck that we have here. I don't know if the guy watches the videos, but that real clean white, uh, what is it, GMC or Chevy? GMC, GMC. right? Crew cap? Uh, it's like my boy Mauricio's. He's fixing the frame on it right now because whoever took it back down to stock height after removing the lift, they didn't put the cross member in. The guy didn't know he was driving around. He started noticing he started getting camber. What happened was that the frame started doing this. So when your frame starts opening up, your upper controller start going in. So it started getting real bad camber. Uh, we figured out what it was. Uh, huge shout out to Clutch City Codings for recommending them to us. Uh, good thing is we're taking care of our boy. Right now we're gonna pick up the cross member with the ears so that we can take it to Mauricio's. He's just gonna put the two last bolts in, bring it to us, then we're gonna clean up the frame, weld the ears, and then put the other two bolts in there. Two, fix the camera because that's a big no-no, man. He's been going through tires and shit like that, and we can't have that guy running like that. So, let's go get these parts. <laughs> I forgot he wasn't here, guys, but <laughs> my boy Trudy's gonna take care of us, so that's all that matters. We'll get back to you in a little bit. Memo! What's that memo? Uh, I, need your, uh, I need your assistance, Chava. Necesito tu asistencia. Is that silver truck? It has a cross member in the front, right? For the control arm? El cross member de atrás, con, the lower control arm for the atrás. I need that cross member with the two bolts. But on the frame, I need to try to see if I can get a saw and like cut to the very end. As close as I can. So thank God, like always, they always have the parts we need. And right now, we're fixing to get that truck, bring it over here, cortarlo, para que lo pongamos en la troca otra. Un saludito para quien? Ahí mandale un saludo a toda alguien ahí en la cámara. Saludos para toda la raza. Ahí está, oílo. ¿Cómo lo trata la vida? Bien, bien. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Guys, cuando vengan para acá y Willy anda en chinga quitando partes y todo, más que este chavo te va a quitar todo bien, como debe ser. No anda con mamá de Willy. A huevo. ¿Cómo te lo para quién, Willy? Para toda la raza allá de El Salvador. Toda la raza del Salvador. Fuck, I need that bumper. Y me dijo que iba a venir uno. Perdón. ¿Para qué? ¿Para el Gilbert truck? ¿Cuál que va a ir? ¿El extender qué? ¿Cuál es el de acá? ¿El de acá? Oh. Oh yeah, we can tell you what the other one is. I gotta stay tuned for the video. You know, get back to the shop. We'll give you some duct tape one up here. I know that sucks. Ready? <laughs> Guys, we got everything that we needed. We tried to disinfect y'all. Muchas gracias. They say Chewy, pero te llamas? Saul. So if y'all need something, guys, Chewy, Miguel, his pops, anybody here will take care of y'all. Come see us. They have all the parts you need. They have our parts today. So 713-691-0330. Hi, Taira. North Jensen, 10034 Jensen Drive, Houston, Texas, 77093. We gotta go guys, we gotta go back to the shop. So catch on a little bit. All right guys, so we made it out here to Spike Performance. We're here to pick up the cam kit uh, for a truck. And then we're here to pick up a Circle D turret converter. We're here to pick up a gauge pot, a gauge pot for Mondo, some lifters, some push rods. 
So let's come in here. Let's pay whatever we gotta pay to pick up, and then go from there, guys. Gotta check out some of their products that they have. I'm at Spikes where they're gonna uh, sponsor my turf converter. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> She's like, nope. Hey, I wanna see. Si eran estos en 22 by 12s. Those look good. Mira estos así negros como la torre negra. 22 by 12s, 22 by 9s in the front. I know they're meant for racing, and I know nobody wants to go big, but for me, I want it for looks. You look, que se me pegue la loquera y hacer una dona o algo, pues. At the shows or whatever, we'll do that. El pedo es que si le pongo 20s en frente y 17s atrás, I'm not gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? Para pa ir a quemar pinche drag radios, ta, como que no, va a estar carito para hacer eso. I'm a broke, I'm a broke person, bro. Esta, Sira. 305, 45, 17s. Guys, if y'all need something, Spike Performance right here in Pasadena off of Spencer. They got everything you can think of. Right now, I'm picking up the cam, the spring, uh, Lifters, the turret converter from a single cab. Uh, I don't even know what else. Oh, the gauge pod or whatever. Yeah, we need a gauge pod too. So I'm gonna let this this girl take care of us real quick. I don't even want to see what my balance is gonna be. Like I said, I'm working on a budget here. So so let's see what the outcome is, guys. I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Like I said, if y'all need something, Spikes Performance in Pasadena. Hey, what's your address here? 4425 Spencer Highway is where they're located at. They got a whole bunch of goodies. Hi guys, so this went totally unexpected. He said, I'll be done in two hours. I was like, pero Luis no sorprendió. Aquí tenemos ir a little stock converter for the truck. He shout out to Spike Performance. He shout out to Circle D. Me sorprendieron. En caliente para que no se sienta. De volada. ¿Qué onda, querido? ¿Tienes la chavos ahí para? ¿Sí tienes chavos ahí para ayudarnos? Sí, 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 ahí están. My boy Irvin right here. We're fixing to tear this baby apart. Cause he's getting a whole new build. But we're here to pick up the truck already. They're done. Let's load this bad boy up. Damn it boy, check it out guys. Everything is out. In two hours they had this whole thing knocked out. Ya le trajimos la turbina. La Circle D billet, single disc. Uh, I think it's a 36 though. All right guys, so are you ready to find out what our next giveaway is? Let's walk over here real quick. Is it any of these? Show them. Any other one of those? Is it my single cab that's fixing to be 6.0, cam swap, uh, LSX intake, uh, what else? Fast, oh, actually it's a fast intake, fast throttle body. Could it be that one? Oh, my bourbon that's getting dropped on 20, some 20 inch billets. I don't know, guys. Should we tell them, Sidney? I don't know. I think we should make them wait a little bit longer, Roman. You think so? Father! Where's my dad? Burroughs? Come here. Come here. Let's ask, the, let's ask the guys, see what they think. Is it that one over there on the trailer? Show it to him. Zoom in on that one. Is it that one? ¿Qué piensan? ¿Le diremos cuál va a ser la que voy o no le diremos? Anyway, what? Mi papá anda en chingo, mira. Ya le dije a mi dad, le dije, hey, no andes trabajando tan duro. Le dije, vete para la casa, descansa un ratito y todo. Y dice, hey, o nada. Dijo, me voy para la casa y me pongo a descansar. Me voy a quedar bien dormido, no voy a hacer nada. Me voy a en chinga aquí, como todos los días. ¿Te gusta el teléfono? I think so. I was telling him, I was like, you think it's a single cat? You think it's a crew cat? The one on the trailer? I was like, is it my bourbon? Give away that one? Yeah, that one. No, ¿cuál? ¿La, la single cat, la orange one? O la single cat, la negra? O la, la Ford or, or la Suburban. I don't think neither of the single cabs. La Diesel. Oh, Which one should we give away? Put them on the line. Guys, y'all check it out. That is right guys, we present you the new giveaway. So we did the giveaway number one, which was, what was it? $4,000 or a set of billet wheels or $6,000 in suspension work, right? That was the first one. The second giveaway was 
the extended cap, which we're doing right now. As you already know, we did compressors, bags, fittings, the whole nine yards on that truck, and it's going to paint next week already. Thank you, Lord, on Chanquito, because that's what's supposed to go down next week. But, like I said, we present to you giveaway number three. It's a 2005 Chevy Silverado. It has a 2006 front end. It does have an SS bumper and SS badges. The back bumper is color matched. You guys let me know if you want to leave that SS bumper. I personally would. I would take the SS badges off, some nice 22s, and a 4.6, yeah? So what we're thinking is a nice set of 22s to match the truck, maybe some black and machine wheels, uh, some nice low pros, a 4.6 drop, obviously done by yours truly. Right now we got a motor from a 2005 Chevy Tahoe with low miles that we got from North Jensen. He shout out to Miguel for hooking us up. Our boys over at DLS, literally right next door, Greñas and John are doing the swap on the motor. They are taking it all apart. We're taking this motor out because this motor is no good. And we're gonna slap that 5.3 on there. Like I said, it's gonna have a Texas Speed Cam, new lifters, springs, and lifter trays. So the truck's already tuned and it does have headers on it. It is a posi differential. It does have an LED cluster, uh, color match Cadillac Escalade handles. It does have turn signal mirrors. It has the 06 front end. The SS bumper, it has the LED headlights that have the little light ring around them, LED tail lights, LED third brake light. Uh, the interior is pretty damn clean. We are gonna put a radio in it, we are gonna put a system in it, and then my pops actually picked up a center console that was pretty clean, my pops went to North Jensen and ended up getting a center console, same color as the truck. So we will be putting a center console on it and taking out the jump seat. Uh, other than that, oh, let's show them what we got. So like I said, guys, we do have a Texas speed cam. We got BTR lifters. We have the GM High Performance LS 550 lift springs for this cam. So it matches this cam. And then we do have the lifter tricks. So all that is going in the truck. So like I said, it already has it already has headers, it's already tuned. The truck works real good actually, but this motor is no good. It's fun to bearing. We're gonna take that out, put on another motor, and it'll be good to go. So on the next video that we post, we're gonna post the deadline. We're gonna post what you can buy uh to get entered into this giveaway as soon as we do the giveaway and it ends you're going to give us two weeks to be able to go in there add everybody's entries in there and then like i said before if the winner wins and he's from let's say less than five hours away we will personally load up the truck on our trailer and we will personally go drop it off probably take you out to eat or something like that if it's for more than five hours then your ass better get to Texas in Houston and come pick this truck up. You can drive it back. I'm gonna guarantee you that this truck can make it across the United States and you won't have a problem with it. If something happens to it, you call me, I'll go pick you up and take you all the way home. That's the guarantee that I'm gonna give you guys. Other than that, guys, anybody that has bought anything started from January 1st. If And I see a couple orders that come in here and there where some beanies got sold, some t-shirts, hoodies, and stuff like that. As of right now, anything that you buy off of our website that's in that merchandise section, all that is going to give you entries. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to edit the amount of entries. As of right now, every $10 you spend is going to give you an entry for this truck. But then on our next video, once we update everything, that's where you're going to see the max amount of entries that you're going to be able to get for this truck. So I appreciate you guys for staying still, watching through this video, waiting to the end to figure out what we're going to do with this truck. Appreciate you guys waiting because the suspense was killing me. I wanted to tell you all about it and everything. I wanted to send a huge shout out to Nor Jensen for making everything possible, LC Performance, my boy Servando, Mondo, my pops, my mom, my wife, uh, man, my homies from New Mexico, Irvin, his dad, Jose, and all of them. They've been a blessing to us. Uh, everybody that's been uh, blessing us with work, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Freddie, Tito, uh, man, I could think of a whole bunch of people, bro, but I'm, the list will go on forever and ever and ever. And I, you know, for me to sit here and count everybody is going to be a long fucking day. We'll be here for about four or five hours. But uh, guys, I just want to say thank you. Enjoy this giveaway. This giveaway is not going to be long like that one or nothing like that. This one's already painted. It already has a nice interior and everything. The only thing that is missing is a radio and a nice little system. We're going to do the drop. Some nice 22s with some brand new tires for you guys. The motor. We're going to get it all polished up and everything. And throughout these videos, you will see that whole process. Like I said, this giveaway, as soon as it's done, you give us two weeks. We'll put everybody's information in. We choose a winner. You get to come pick this truck up or we take it to you. So, guys, thank you again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. If you can hit that play button on Sunday morning, let your tia, your abuelita, your sancha, whoever, la toxica, watch the video. It all helps out to create further content for you guys and do stuff like this. So, thank you guys and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.